not having hydroquinone in this particular product does not mean it's suitable for your skin. We rise like tall buildings As the chemicals they take us higher The night's young Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I just want to talk to all of us concerning this particular product I just recently discovered like a few weeks ago majority of you might have seen this particular product and maybe you've used it so my cousin actually got this product and she was using this product for a while i didn't know about it so i just noticed she started having this sudden redness like really really conk redness and the product i'm talking about is this palishali I just did the research and I discovered it's actually everywhere. It has overtaken everywhere. So, and she said there are two types and she has basically used the two, which is, um, she said one is goldy, pali goldy something. Well, the one I have here with me is the pali shali. So I would just put a link of the goldy here. So you see, she had acne and it's left some dark scars. So she put the the one I just showed you so she said that one actually cleared a scar and which was okay it's okay to buy products to clear your scars once in a while then you stop using then she really liked the result and it's really cleared her acne so she now discovered they have this new one and she now bought it so she bought it and so far she has used this for like a week now this is where the whole drama and story is coming in. all her cheekbone here is red totally red I don't understand like how how can you use a product for just one week and it will give you this strong sun burn she said there is no hydroquinone in this product it's really understandable if majority of us still think hydroquinone is bad for you Yes, I understand. I was meant to believe hydroquinone is bad. It's not good for our skin, blah, blah, blah. And at the end of the day, they put in even worse things that are worse than hydroquinone. So if you are new here, you want to brighten your skin, but you're looking for the right way to go about it. And maybe you want to treat your skin too, and maybe you've damaged your skin over the years, this is the right channel to be. If you've not subscribed, please use the subscription button. Don't forget to like. A lot of you have been watching the video and you forget to use the thumbs up. Please, it's just there. Just click it. So the algorithm will understand that, okay, you guys are there. I know you're watching because I can see our views are growing, but please always use the thumbs up. Subscribe if you're yet to subscribe. Now, what am I trying to say about this product? It's boldly written there that there is no hydroquinone. Now, what is that thing that is making it brighten your skin within a week? Please, if you've used this product, please leave a comment down below. I want to see all your comments about this product and I want to hear your ideas on how you think it's the safest way to use this product. I did more research on Shali Pali. So far, what I've discovered is that they have huge mercury. The mercury in this product is on the very high side. I'm not against them putting whatever they want to put in their skincare product. But they not saying it, it's my problem. How can you put mercury in a product and not list it in the ingredients? It's not here. It's not here. I had to do serious research. I had to check and see the countries where this product has been burned. In fact, I see that it's already banned in, in the Philippines. So that's how much some governments actually go very far in checking the ingredients in products so why would you not list this product like why would you not let people know that is mercury I mean this is a dangerous thing we're talking about here so I mean I don't know I, I really don't know how I feel about this people not letting us know what we are putting on our body especially with the black caramel light skin African girls you need to know you need to be more enlightened about what you put on your skin don't just be buying buying but this ingredients goes as far deep 
into your bloodstream. So why won't you tell somebody? Why won't you let them know? Mercury has a way of going deeper into your bloodstream and causing other damages. You can do your own research and find out about Mercury and see the side effects that comes with Mercury. So this is just an awareness. I want to know if you've used it. Just let me know and I would want to hear more about these products. So if you want to use this product, like I said, just use it for a certain period of time. Discontinue when you get your result. If you must use it, if possible, set reminder like um, I want to stop this thing on the so-so day of this day. So you don't get carried away and you keep using it, using it, using it. It's going to give you sunburn. And I, when I say sunburn, is you know those chronic kind of redness like that will be hard for you to treat. That's what the cream is going to give you. Let me even show you how it looks. So, so far I've checked it and it's like shelly so it's like this you see it's it leaves a little bit of white cast on the skin so when you use it it's meant to like um stay on your skin for maybe overnight then you wash it out the next day then you do your morning skincare routine. Aside the mercury part of this product, this product actually has some very good ingredients that are actually interesting and good for the skin. It has hyaluronic acid, it has grapefruit, it has aloe vera, it has vitamin E. This product also contains squalene and also collagen. So these are just the few ingredients that I got. You can actually do your own research and see more about this product. So I just wanted you to know that this product contains heavy mercury and it does not have um, hydroquinone according to the research I have done. And a lot of people said there is no hydroquinone in it. So not having hydroquinone in this particular product does not mean it's suitable for your skin. So you need to know hidden ingredients in products before you just jump into them. Hydroquinone is not the major concern in skincare products. In fact, it's not even the problem. If you use it properly, it's not a problem when it comes to skincare. So there are other hidden ingredients that most people don't let the public know about skincare products that ends up damaging our skin. So for our newcomers, if you are yet to see our videos, you want to go and check. I'll be linking some here so you see them. And just keep watching and see how far we've come on our skin journey. And I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye-bye.